Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Funko Pop Central. Today we're going to be doing Funko Pop hunting episode 18, I think it's around there. Um, and this episode is going to be dedicated to all the new Infinity War Pops um, from the new Marvel movie coming out April 27th, I think. Um, so really excited about that. So we're going to go over to Hot Topic Box Lunch. Uh, Barnes & Noble, I don't think has any, but GameStop, all the stores. Um, we're not, we're probably not going to pick up every pop in the line, but we're definitely going to pick up some exclusives and maybe a couple other ones. Like, I don't really want the Thanos because I already have a 6-inch Thanos that I think is cooler, so why would I buy a smaller one that isn't as cool, in my opinion? Um, but probably going to get that Iron Man, so let's head over to the mall. I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so since we're kind of doing like the Infinity War thing, I thought I'd stop by Target and try and get the Eric Killmonger. I know it's not really related, but it's still Marvel and it's still kind of because Black Panther's in, I don't know. We're going to go into Target and see if they have the Eric Killmonger Glow in the Dark Target exclusive. And we are at Target. Wait. We're, I think we're at Target. Alright guys, so in Target now, not seeing too much. I already asked an employee if uh, they could grab me an Eric Killmonger uh, from the back, and he said that it doesn't show it in his inventory, but I honestly, on BrickSeek it says it's here. Um, but it's whatever, guys. I, I'm not really worried about it. I'll get it at some point. Um, nothing really else, though. I like that He-Man. I um, kind of want the original one first, though. Um, and then they do have all these Stranger Things pops over here. They have a lot of these 11 in hospital gowns, so I'm assuming there was a chase. Um... But, yeah, I kind of missed it, but it's fine, guys. I'm um, not really seeing too much. Let's head back out to the car. Let's head to the mall. They actually still have some good luck bears and a wrinkle in time pop, so that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so not seeing too much else over here. There is a lot of 50% off pops, which is cool. Plus, if you have, like, the member thing, it'd be 60% off. Um, not seeing too much, though. Um, there's some Baywatch pops that are cool. I just watched Baywatch again last night. It's really funny. What else do they have? They have some Disney Pops. They have a lot of these Captain Salazar Pops, so I was thinking there might be a chase, but didn't really find one. Someone else might have grabbed it. Um, yeah, there's nothing on this side. It looks really dry over here. I mean, it looks like they haven't restocked. Wait till I show you guys this shelf. Looks like they haven't restocked in a long time. So they have these two packs right here. Go down the shelf. They have these two packs right here. They have three Pops, four Pops, and there's nothing on these bottom two shelves. See, nothing, nothing. Um, yeah, so let's go over to the last side, check out that. Um... There's uh, an Alfredo, which is cool, but nothing really I want to pick up. I feel like Barnes & Noble hasn't gotten a really good exclusive in a long time. Um, but yeah, guys, anyways, that's pretty much it. Might Probably won't pick anything up. I'm going to go check out the other section, though. Yay, guys, we actually found an Iron Man. Yay. Um, looks really good. I'm probably going to pick it up just because it's it'll be cheaper here than it will be anywhere else. Um, other than that, though, there's really not too much. Just some kind of random pops here. Um, but yeah, guys, let's head over to Hot Topic and see if we can pick up that Vision. A lot of cool pops in this front section guys here's the vision i'll show you guys that real close definitely getting this looks super awesome super excited about this guy um this will be like my fourth vision too because i have a ton of visions but set him down for now and i'll show you guys some of the other pops they do have a lot of eccc pops left uh they have the parks and rec two pack they have amy pond they have um alien rick and alien morty so if you guys are still looking for them make sure you go check your hot topics um see what they got on this side civil warrior and some more visions um not really too much else and guys i want to show you something really quick hold on all right guys this is what i wanted to show you look how close these two pops look that's thor that's captain america like look at how close they are like if you're just glancing at them quick it looks like the same pop that's crazy all right guys so inbox lunch now and now that i'm looking at this thanos i think it looks amazing might actually have to pick this one up and there's group there definitely buying that um, I need Groot. He's awesome. Um, but other than that, I'll just kind of pan through the rest of the pops, see if we can find any more Infinity War ones. Oh, here it is. Um, so we got Ebony Maw there, and then we got another Captain America. Um, other than that, I'll just pan through the pops. There's a zero with Bone without the uh, exclusive sticker on it. That's kind of weird. But um, let's see. Two for 18 pops. Um, got some New York Comic Con pops, some San Diego Comic Con pops, guys. Other than that, I'm going to kind of dig through and try and find some other Infinity War pops. Alright guys, so I found another one. You guys haven't seen this video, and it's Proxima Midnight. I think it looks really good. Um, probably not going to buy this one. The box is a little damaged, but let's go over to the other section. Alright guys, over at the other section, not really any Infinity War pops. Um, there's a Pickle Rick right there. But I'm just going to kind of show you guys all these pops, because maybe some of you guys aren't Marvel fans, and then this video will be really boring for you. But I'll show you some other ones. There's still some New York Comic Con pops. There's the Mountain from Game of Thrones from San Diego Comic Con. Um, other than that, not too much. I think I'm going to head over to GameStop and try and get some more. 
Alright guys, in GameStop, not seeing too much. Um, I know they got a shipment of a ton of Infinity War Pops, and they must have sold them really fast because they only have a couple left here, um, and they're ones that I just already bought, so I'm not going to pick anything up here. Um, that Sonic is cool, but yeah, let's head back out to the car, and uh, I'll show you what I got when I get home. So just got out of the mall, and I picked up about four pops and a pint size hero because at box lunch I was like $2 away from donating like the second meal or whatever. So I just picked that up too. Um, I got about four pops from Infinity War. I'm really excited about them. I wanted an Iron Spider kind of most of all, and I didn't get that today. Just kind of because I'm waiting for uh, the box lunch exclusive um, where it's kind of like metallic -y. So I really want that one. So I'm going to save, uh, I guess, my money for when the box lunch exclusive comes out. But anyways, guys, let's go home and show you what I got. Alright guys, so we just made it home, and I'm going to show you what I picked up, but first, we're going to open just this little pint-sized hero thing that I got, uh, just so I'd be over the limit to donate two meals at box lunch. Um, so there are the choices, or I guess the things you can get, they're all 1 in 12, so there's really like no super rare ones. Um, I already have Ursula, so anything other than Ursula I'll be fine with. Um, I'd like to to one of the Toy Story ones, but I really don't care, so let's just open this up here. Comes with like one, oh, I just, are you serious? It's Ursula, and I already have Ursula, but it's whatever. That's really unlucky because I could have gotten 11 other ones, but anyways, guys, that's the pint size hero we got. All right, guys, so there he is, bobbling his head. Um, I really like how on the bottom there, he's got, like, the little, like, uh, jets there. I think it looks really cool. He obviously comes with a stand because out-of-box collectors wouldn't be able to display him at all. And then he's got, like, his cannon right there. I think it just looks so cool. Um, I, I, I really like these pops. I think they did a really good job with them. Alright guys, so the next two we picked up were actually from Box Lunch. The first one is Groot, and I just love Groot. I think he's like the funniest character. I love how he used to be just like this huge guy, and now he's just like growing up as like, we get to basically see him grow up. He was potted Groot, and now he's like a teenager. Um, he's got like a gun in his hand there. Not like the craziest sculpt or anything like the Iron Man, but still a really cool pop, and I'm really happy I picked this one up. And then we also picked up Thanos and oops upside down Thanos and um I said I wasn't gonna pick him up because I already had a six inch but this guy looks really good I really do like this sculpt and um yeah I just I wanted it in my collection so there's Thanos all right guys and last but definitely not least we got a Hot Topic exclusive um and I'll just show you it is the Vision um I think this one's awesome I love his pose on this one he's kind of like uh descending down and about to land um just looks really awesome. He's kind of got that like metallic-y finish. Um, really awesome pop. Also, that kind of goes along with this one is the Iron Spider Box Launch Exclusive. I said this earlier in the video, but I really want to get that one. Um, I'm really excited for that one to come out. Um, but yeah, those were the four pops we Alrighty, picked up. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for this hunt. I really hope you enjoyed it. My next hunt I'm super excited about because I'm going to be hunting down the... Uh, hopefully either the, the regular Hades Hot Topic exclusive or the Chase, probably both if possible, but they both look so awesome. One glows blue and then one glows like a red orange. They look amazing, guys. I'm sure you have seen pictures and I really want those, so that's going to be my next time. I'm really excited about that. Tomorrow's video is just going to be unboxing all my Funko Shop exclusives. I got a bunch of boxes piled up over here. Really excited about that, but anyways, guys, I'll see you next time.